We always like to ask our our music music guests if they've had any major like fuck ups on stage, like when things just go completely wrong, everything just fucks up. Like, you have any good stories to tell? I do. Well, I, I've told this one on, <laughs> on my sh- on my show as well, so it's perfect. But it's like this is this is the show where I realized, like, dude, you should not drink before shows. Um, we played a, it was a, we played a show in Austin, Texas at this place called weirdos and weirdos was like, we rolled our bus up to it and it was like just a huge back dirt lot with like, you know, sand volleyball and like little things. But I mean, pretty much just a huge empty parking lot with, but it was dirt. And then they had like this little bar area that was like a, you know, that was the spot and they had set up a stage out in the back dirt area and it was right when we rolled our bus up at like you know 10 in the morning the guy comes uh the promoter comes onto our bus and he's like hey here's the you know waitress lady's uh phone number you can just text her all day whatever you want and and she'll just bring you guys food or drinks or whatever you want all day she'll bring it oh, to your damn. bus We're like that's fucking great that's so fucking beautiful yeah and it was halloween too and uh so it was just one of those days that I don't even know why we just started like kind of having drinks early, earlier than we should have. And like when you should have stopped and probably taken a nap and eaten food for the show, like I didn't, I just kept going and kind of just forgot that I even had a fucking show, you know, like, and then it got to, and Christian was our tour manager. And I, I just remember like taking a shot and just, and right as I took it, like Christian just was like handing me my guitar. He's like, you got to go to the stage now. You have a show. And like, it kind of like clicked. And I was like, oh fuck like like no hammered <laughs> and I like fucking they're like pushing me up onto the stage and I get out there and like the, fir- the first oh, two no. songs like I couldn't think of a lyric I my hands oh, were no. I was like where I, I was nowhere to be found and I was just <laughs> oh my god and then like the third song comes in and I'm like almost starting to be like okay like take a deep breath you know like what the fuck and uh and then I just remember like Christian's grabbing me and he's pulling me off the stage and he's like, dude, the show's fucking canceled, dude. Show's over. You get out of here. The cops are here. And I was just like, yes, <laughs> fucking yes. So what had happened is cheese story is cheese had came <laughs> while we were playing and he tried to get backstage where the bus was to come around where the stage was. And the security guard there was like, I can't let you in here. And she's just like, no, I'm their, I'm their manager, you know, blah, blah, blah. And the guy's like, well, you don't have a pass. I can't let you in, whatever. But apparently the guy was being a smart ass uh, as well. And, uh, and she's just like, if I have to go all the way over there through the front gate and walk all the way back over here, when I get back here, I'm going to punch you in the face. So Cheese fucking does it. He walks in and he comes out and he lays the dude out and then him and, and you know, uh, just yes. starts fucking wop wop. <laughs> and, and then, you know, the, he, the cops get called, the show gets shut down and Cheese is hiding on our bus. And then like, <laughs> it was this whole thing. But like, I just remember being so saved, but also it was terrible. The show got ended, but yeah, man. And the, I, I swear to God, ever since that show, I mean, and that show was fucking 10 years ago or maybe a, Eight. I don't know. It was a long time ago, but I, I do not drink before shows ever again after that. 